What a golf course. This, this is a Lynx. It's an incredible course, it's an incredible place. It is mega. Feels a bit warm now. Uh, that's hypothermia. Ah, right, yeah. yes. The challenge is simple. You get 30 shots to get round nine holes of a golf course. And today we have none other than the snowman himself, the snow king, Peter Finch. How are we doing? Welcome back to the channel. Mate, I'm absolutely pumped for this. Last, I reckon we're going to do this today. Last time we did it, seven months ago, was West Lanx. I, and there was a blizzard, let's say. I've blocked it from my memory. Yeah, I it have. Didn't, didn't happen. Absolutely nothing laid down in my mind about that day. For me, it never <laughs> happened. I've not played West Lanx in over two years. <laughs> Last time you played the 30 shot challenge, you nearly completed seven holes. We've come to the stunning Craigie Law Golf Course. It's November and it's actually better weather than it was in Manchester or West Lanx um, <laughs> in March time, April time. Yeah, basically. I think it was, what was it, March? Probably? I think it was the end of March it's, that we played. It is a crazy course. I mean, I don't know what you're going to be doing, like intro wise, drone wise, what's going to be there, but the actual. Oh, there'll be some drone. Course here is. Absolutely amazing. Like, I've never been here before. There's here, there's what's the other place over there? Kilspindy. Kilspindy. Like this area, and then Gullens. You, you've just... got a, a line going out to Archerfield, haven't you? Pretty much. Well, even past to Dunbar mm. that goes. Well, there's a, there's Craigie another one there called Luff Ness. Yeah, you Luff Ness, yeah. Well, this is a hidden golf course I've never seen before. It's, uh, it's amazing. It's an un, underused space out here. It is mega. Like, We've been up like here filming. bedroom. Yes, exactly, yeah. Underused. We've been up here filming some uh, record breakers as well, so make sure you check those out if you haven't yet seen them or uh, they are due to come out. 30 shots, Pete. How far do you think you're getting round here? Just to let you know, it is a par 36. It's 3,200 yards off the blue tees we are playing today. Played off the back nines, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so... What is good, it finishes 3-5 and it starts 3-5. Oh, you know what? Oh, I thought I'd be struggling, but now, <laughs> now there's a chance. Now there, there is a chance. Now there's a chance. You know what I always think? If you wear more than two layers, the chance is you're never Slim. going to shoot 30. Um, yeah. Anytime the bobble hat goes on, that's when I. That's why I'm wearing a cap today. My ears are freezing. <laughs> Just to get freezing. 30. Right, how far are you getting? Uh, Do you beat your last time record? I, I'm going to say I'm going to get to the eighth this time. Eight, yeah. I like that. I mean, bear in mind, like we, I think we did remarkably well to get to the seventh. I think we did remarkably well not to uh, be needing mountain rescue last time <laughs> we were out there. You're going to get to the eighth. I think I've been playing all right this week. I fancy I'm finishing the eighth today. Maybe, maybe halfway up the ninth. Hit your tee shot on that. Bold, I'm, I'm bold shout. I know. Let's get it done. The tenth hole is 145 yards, which is going to be our first hole. Par three. There's bunkers left. There's bunkers right. Oh, what a beauty of a hole. I'll let you have the honour, sir. Wind just off the left, do you think? I think it's moving, yeah, a little bit coastal. You can just see the clouds just wh whipping that way. Well, you know what, Matt? Good luck. Play well. But Enjoy the challenge. Enjoy it. <laughs> now, I'm not in any warm up, so I'm going to. Oh, excuses are out, everyone. Oh, wow. That just pumped, that wind. <laughs> what the... Where did that come from? Where did that literally just come from, there? <laughs> That was what we call Senor Gustingtons. Have you good. just gone up a club? Yeah. Got to be honest, mate. I'm I'm kind of thinking that when it gets above the wonderful houses surrounding this hole, it might be a bit gusty. So I yeah, think I might just be... try and chip a seven. You know. I mean, I've been hitting the ball so atrociously bad the last few days. I'm kind of thinking. I think seven's a good club. You know. You think? Yeah. Wind off the left. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and hit a tiny bit of a draw back into it. Turn over a tiny bit. Uh, it's done well to get there. It was a very professional shot, I will say. Yeah, it's just a bit slappy. I mean, made contact, first shot of the day. You hit seven? Yeah, but I, I wouldn't... <laughs> you wouldn't go off that because you got I, no groove. I wouldn't use that as a guide. I really wouldn't use that as a guide. 145. Mm. There is wind there. The back is 172 and the middle is 155. I'm going to go seven as well, just a little sort of... Crikey. Oh, I'll hold on to that for you. Who turned the fans on? Yeah, I think this is a good little, just a little knocky down one. Little draw into the wind, hopefully. Just You're see the shot. Draw. 30 shot challenge, I can't remember. Are we, is it like competitive or are we like supporting each other? Depends if you're beating me. If you're beating me. I okay. will be badgering you. Okay. If you're not, I will be very supportive. I imagine you'll be supportive then. Yeah. Now I need to be more confident. No, right, come on. I can't wait to play this golf course. 
Oh, I've overdone it. I've overdone it. Oh, Matt. Oh, no. Trappy. Come on, Matt, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> not, the, not the start we wanted, folks. Not oh. the start we wanted. Seki doesn't even want to play this back, though. Like, what's the lowest number of holes you managed to get through? I think I did six. Six? Yeah, I just had like a real hat. Like, you know when nothing goes your way and you're like, oh, there we go, that's out of bounds. Oh, there we go. Like, thought that was in, lipped out. I think it was six. I'll have to have a look back and put it in, but okay. yeah. Well, let's, let's do this, man. Let's Come go. On. Let's, let's go. Let's have a wonderful time. 30 shots, off we go. It's a bit wet. I might even get a little bit of like moisture on my shoe. Like it when there's a step down into the bunker. Not the ideal position, but luckily we've pitched and run pretty central. So all I need to do is pop it out onto the green and just let it trickle its way down. It is downwind though, that's my only. Yeah, I don't think you have to land this on very far, are you? No, just on. Clean those grooves for all your hams out there. If I was going to be supportive of you, I would say there's quite a big bank to the right of that pin. Been noted already. Okay, good, sorry. I did that on my green walk this morning. <laughs> okay. When you did your LIDAR scan of the area. I could have a hundred more goes at that and I'm not doing much better. Sounded very nice, that strike. That was silky silkerson. That could have just saved my 30 shot challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Two shots in. All right then, uphill. Come on, Pete, roll it in. That was my bit of support. Nah. Whacked it. It's still you. To have an old wacky whack there, my friend. Uh, you know what? I struck it well. <laughs> <laughs> what? What can I ask for? The first thought was a nice strike. Well, this puts the cat amongst the pigeons. Well done. Thank well you. Well done. <clears throat> my par putting is unbelievable. Such Nerf. a good par putter. Nerves of steel there, Peter. It's, uh, it's kind of like just more dead nerve endings, I think, now. Now I'm a bit old and haggard. I just don't care anymore. Just be done with me. Bury yeah. me at sea. Yeah, good with that. Very good. We will take that, sir. Three apiece. Very 27 good. to go. On to the next. A little bit weird not fist bumping, though. We've been teammates for the last few days. He just walks off like camaraderie's dead now. Once our eyes now bitter enemies. Our second hole being the 11th here at Craigie Law. 507 yards par five, straight down towards the ocean, going towards the fourth. It's a good looking hole. Bunkers all down by the green. There actually are some here. 235 and 248. They are mm. on the right side, Peter. And when uh, Matthew says the fourth, the first of fourth. First of fourth, yes. Yeah, so I was just abbreviating because you know. Because you know, we're 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 we don't so know where the fourth with is. It. Yeah. If I think the fourth's over there. I think the fourth's there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Agree to disagree. <laughs> Par five. Par five. That we can agree on. <laughs> Just going to go down the left, let the wind peel it back. Yeah, I think the boat's in the distance. See, with the lights on. Yeah, they are moving, though. Well, they're not moving that quick, mate. <laughs> not, not a speedboat out there. Yeah. It's not a, See that jet ski there? It's not a big rib. <laughs> it's a tanker. <laughs> Right. <laughs> 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 I do Miami Vice like. Those videos that pop up on YouTube every yeah. like, going into a wave like boom. Oh, the further forth is rough today. Can I get my drive now? Thank yeah. you, Mike. Down the left. Oh, that is. That's massive, that. That is gone. The wind has made it its mission to that ball to go over 350 yards. Big boy that. <laughs> I think it's just got the green. That was wow. huge. Yeah, that was big. That was, a, that was a surprise first thing in the morning. Wow, well done. Thank you. Am I, am I a golfer? Wind sort of switched now. It's straight down almost, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of gust in. Like when you get that kind of indicator on like the, where it's like yeah. a, like that. Let's that see way. if we can follow suit with Pedro Finch. Mate, you've been getting it out there the last few days. Well, that's not an issue. Just hold there. That'll be fine, that. Right side of the fairway with you. I think them bunkers are a bit further away than... Oh, yeah, they're in not the in distance, play there. Distance. They're about 450 yards away. I mean, we are big boys. Yeah, you are getting out there. You just we'll probably be 10 short. <laughs> it's a bit damp, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. A bit early in the morning. A bit chilly, the baromic pressure. As Bryson would say, or whatever it is. The Weasel Weasel. What course is next door here? Like this way? 
Le that's another call. That's not Craigie Law there. Is that Abilady then? Ah. That's yes. Abilady. Abilady, Craigie Law, Kilspindy, Gullen, Luffness. Renaissance, Archerfield. Muirfield. Muirfield, Renaissance, Archerfield. Is there something Archerfield. in the middle of that? I don't think so. Probably. Well, there will be. There will when be. We, when we get that, that investment through. Yeah. When we, uh, we open up our new crazy dino golf. It's going to blend right in with all the history and tradition. <laughs> Can Plan you get it through the volcano <laughs> to make the T-Rex roar? Planning permission might be a bit tricky, but listen, nah. you give enough money to the right people, it can make anything done. happen. Yeah. Well, there's the seat, isn't it, or the chair or whatever. So you can actually see the castle today over there at Edinburgh. So we've got... What is that? Is that the tabletop, is it called, or something? Uh, Arthur's seat. Arthur's seat. Yeah. Arthur's seat, just over in the distance, and then to that, the right of it. Yeah, as it goes down, like the first bit that pumps up again, that's the castle there. Yeah. That'd be Leith. Imagine, yeah, Leavens over this way. Yeah. Over the way, you've got Dunbarney, and you've got Crail and everything as you go around the bay. It's one heck of a piece of land. This. Just, it is just like golf. Heaven, heaven around here, yeah. it really, really is. We've been very fortunate, and it's all thanks to you lot watching. So make sure you hit that little sub button. Give us a little like as well, and we'll be able to uh, get to more places like this and show you other beautiful golfing destinations. Do we have to? Do we have to? I mean, I'd do it without you, quite happily. Fine. <sighs> Look at another course there. I think, that, what was it, Aberdawa, that one? Maybe have a lady. Have a lady. Ab Abadour is actually over there. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> the other side of the bay, isn't it? I've been a little bit mis misinformed. Maybe. Imagine that in summer, just a lovely baking hot day, just looking out over all there. Oh. Blue skies. You know what's insane though? Like here's something crazy. I can't remember what the green fee is here, <laughs> but you pay. Let's let's just say it's a hundred pounds. You go to Renaissance, it's three hundred, uh, and the view's more. still the same. Yeah. I mean, it, obviously conditions may be a little bit different, it, but... It depends what you're after as well, like, yeah. the thing is with Re Renaissance, we were saying this before, it's an incredible course, it's an incredible place. Yeah, incredible. But this, this is a Lynx. Yeah. Like a true, old-fashioned Lynx course, and it's hard to beat that. Yeah. Something very special about it. Well, Peter, you've diddled me there by 10. Ah, 12. We've both got the fairway, though, so, you know... We've got the green light for the par fizzy. Oh, they've got to remember it. Oh, on the 11th, how fitting. A Remembrance Day flag on the 11th hole. It is 152 yards away from me. They've gone like three, 350 odd down the wind then. Uh, 150, wind is very, very downwind. I think I'm going to go- you got, 150. What? 150. Yeah, I've got 152. i got 130, so just thought I'd tell you. You've not got one well, foot of different angle. You're still going to make five though, that's the worry. A little wedge off the edge of the little sort of old wall that's behind the green. You will let the wind just push it onto the flag. Push it, Be wind. Good. Push it a tiny bit. Push it. Go on. Go on. Oh, nice shot. I just needed a little more release. Just, that just caught it a tiny bit skinny there, but it's straight down the banner. We've done all right there. Uh, 130 yards. I'm just going to ease a little wedge in there. I'm just going to go quite straight at the flag, really. If it moves a touch right, that's fine. You don't want to miss left in that bunker. Looks like the very gates of hell down there. Push it, Wynn. Go on. Go on. Push it. Oh. Spam back down. I don't think it's in the bunker, but... I'll get you divot. It seems to quite fly as much as I thought, though. you just got to accept, Pete, you're a short knocker with those T-Rex irons. <laughs> it's very true. This might be the last round I play with this. Well, Peter, you may have hit it further off the tee, but someone's hit it closer. Somebody's closer. I just wanted to go first, put the pressure on. OK. It's called tactics, It match. now seems that the uh, supportive nature of the match has turned into a, uh, a match play. <laughs> Well, that yeah, lasted all of one hole. <laughs> yeah. Wow. How good's that? 11th hole, Peter, and they've got the remembrance flag on the 11th hole. Yes, yeah, nice. Very fitting. I need a few big putts to drop if we want to get past the 7th hole. Oh, hello. What a line. Hello. What a line. <sighs> Considering it is November, greens are rolling absolutely wonderfully. Right, little eagle put up the hill. 15 feet. Come on. 
Go, go, go! I've done a Pete Finch and left oh. it on the short. Literally exactly the same. Great line, just needed that little bit more. Needed a bit more encouragement, that one. Well, it's seven shots apiece, a four and a three. Good that means we've then. got 23. Well done, mate. Well done, pal. Well done. Well, we're back to liking one another. Now, the uh, walk to the tee is always a friendly, yeah. neutral ground. This is Switzerland, basically, <laughs> in between here and the tee. <laughs> A string of par fours now. Ooh. We need to uh, we need make hay while the sun doth shine. I think that the sun is about to shine. I think this one's downwind as well. Twelfth hole, just under 400 yards. Big dog leg right to left. Walls are plenty. I love a wall on a golf course. We're aiming just to the right of this one and then letting the wind turn in. There's out of bounds left. Don't want to go too far, but we think it is a driver. There are a little bit of grounds work up here because they're actually making some rest, um, some improvements to the golf course, so like redesigning all the bunkers and making them like real, right. real tough pot bunkers. So you will see that on this hole. Lost that in the air. Go on, wind. Pretty good. I lost, I got it going out and then I sort of lost it in the cloud. Yeah, it, it went over the edge of the wall, fish in the middle of the wall. So. Oh, that's fine then, that's perfect. I've not played in wind like this for a while. Anything that's uh, right of the, the white stake is pretty okay. good. So I've been told, I've never played here. <laughs> We're relying on you for all this information. Yeah. We, could, we could have been sold a bunch of lies, but <laughs> the guy seemed pretty nice we were chatting to. <laughs> well, you got a clue what's going on. It's like getting a Sherpa who's never gone up Everest. Oh yeah, you'll be fine with that oxygen, mate. <laughs> yeah. me. There's loads of that in the sky. Yeah, pretty good. That's spot on, I think. <laughs> nice try. Again, because I know where, <laughs> where the course is. That is spot on. I mean, I, I tell you what, Fry. Nice try. Well done. Uh, and also, Matt, so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Devastating. Damn. Oh, I can't believe those two are perfect. <laughs> I can't believe those two are out of bounds. <laughs> Found mine just in the rough. Gave Pete some bum information. Luckily, he didn't listen to me and he's actually centre stripe. We're only 60 yards because we are just playing to a temp green on this one while the uh, the green keepers are building the new bunker. It's going to be hard at bunker, work there behind wow. it, which is nice. I'll tell you what, that's a slither like the normal green. Imagine that for a little pitch. It looks like there's about three yards to land it in there. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can get this close on this wintry, blustery day. 60 yards. Little chip. Sit. Oh, I've gone oh, bold. Well. Aggressive, mate. Yeah, it came out a little bit well out of there. I thought it looked snaggy. Did you not? Did you look at your shot scope to the centre of the normal green? No, no. <laughs> I thought that was going to be okay. Just launched out of that. I always struggle pitching to a temp green. Because the fairways are pretty, obviously, dry and they're pretty bare. Preferred lies because of the rain that has come down. I'm going to put this. Now I know what you're thinking, Pete. You're crazy. But just, I've got a good feeling. Pretty straight, give it a bit of a bash. Imagine if this goes in. Fry and hate it. Sit, sit. Ooh, bold. Bold, Green's bold, quick, bold. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I did that actually really well. I did it too well, I did too well. Oh dear. Right, I've got now, I think, 30 yards after I had 60. Not the uh, the best. It's a tapping oh, par, though. Oh, great foot. tapping par. Look at that, folks. Oh, great foot. I was panicking then, thinking, 30 shots. I've done myself. <laughs> I've done myself. I mean, yeah, the ball has got to go in the hole. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. well done. That's four for me. I'm proud of that one. Do you want it out, sir? <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's not what I need, is it? <laughs> this, is not what, this, is, this is not what I need. It. Well done, well done. Thanks very much. Solid what, fours, What a great part. Solid well fours. Done, mate. I mean, well it's, always, it's always a little disappointing when you're on a temp, but it's understandable because they're making the course better. But nonetheless, we've now had 11 shots apiece. That means we've got 19 left and we've got six holes to go. The birdies need to come thick and fast. Coming to the end of the year now, Pete. Is it? Yeah, November, <laughs> funnily enough. What's, uh, what's the big plans for Peter Finch Golf next year? Anything, anything new, anything exciting you can give us a look into? When's this video coming out, do we think? I think this will be 
mid, mid December, early December, mid December. Um, we will have had record breakers most likely. Okay. Which we're going to renew, which, you know, if you've liked that, give us a little like down there. So, probably the big thing that we're planning for is going to be kind of quest for the open coming back. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's just, I feel, you feel like you're on with after that that, for, that third hole, you that think ready. like you're ready to get in the open. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, it's, it's weird, like, I want to go into it with a bit of a different attitude this year, like, when I did it, not last year, year before, I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's finding it way too stressful, but I've got a bit of a plan this year to, to just try and enjoy playing again. Yeah, because yeah, I understand that. Miss it. You know, I'm, I do enjoy making YouTube videos just for the pure pleasure of it, but actually like playing in comps, testing yourself, it's good, it's fun. You like playing in comps? Yeah. That's weird, because I'm not into that at the minute. Yeah, well that's the thing Couldn't like, care less. certainly this year I've, I've missed it a bit. I've not missed it loads. Yeah. But I enjoy obviously going through open qualifying and all that kind of stuff, so yeah. that's going to be coming back. Nice. I'm going to give it a go, um, and I've got some, I've got some interesting plans for it. We're right. going to do it very differently. Okay. Like, we'll qualify. Heard it here first. <laughs> Well, you, you're going to try and actually get through. That'd be different. I plan to qualify this time. <laughs> That'd be different. Especially yeah, yeah. the open, we actually yeah, get exactly. to Exactly. Imagine that. Right, anyway, right. we're now on to our fourth hole here. That's good. I'm happy that that's back. I used to enjoy those videos. So the 13th hole is now our fourth hole. It's straight back into the wind, 370 yards. There is a sort of a, a bit of a, a pondy, lakey sort of thing running down the right side, but there's also these walls that are running all through the fairways that cause a bit of an issue. But I think up the left, is is pretty decent and then try and attack from there we need to start making some birdies just on another note i mean how good is that clubhouse the view that you are in on that bit is phenomenal i don't think we'll be sitting out on the veranda tonight. i don't think so no <laughs> not in our shorts all right come on just up that left wind's gonna let it drift a touch pretty good yeah yeah Seen it down. Mate, that wind is. <laughs> Seemed to be in the air forever. <laughs> it looks like it's not gone that far. That has gone. That is a heck of a hula. 210 yards. Wind is strong and cold and wet. Oh no. Hold. No. Hold. That's okay. No. It's not moving that much. Yeah, got it in the little spinny rough there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, All it's right, fine, okay. yeah. Little bounce down in the rough. Just, just came out of that. Didn't quite release it enough, but. We'll get going, we'll get going. I mean, seems to be that if you're on the 30 shot, we play in the most extreme conditions, can maybe. We, we, we just, should we just go play? Dubai or something? Can we do this in some summer? I've <laughs> left these two 30 shot challenges. I swear, I swear to the golf gods, I've taken about four years off my life. <laughs> like, I, yeah. could have, I could have lived to the ripe old age of about 64. <laughs> and now, if I get past 59, it's going to be a miracle. You've made it. Oh, you've made it. 120. So a bit of room behind the pin, literally straight back into this wind. I'm on a launch pad, which is annoying. Mine's yeah, I sat could... high, so it's just going to pump in the air. I might have to hit five iron. I can fly now. So I'm going to hit like a chip seven. I'm going to aim it at the pin. <laughs> wow, folks, there you go. Descriptive as ever, the pin. <laughs> It looks like there's one heck of a pot bunker to the right of the green. Oh, yeah, we don't, you don't want there. to go. I think the the uh, play for the 13th oh. hole, if you do have a visit Craigie Law, is left. Just go left. Go left. There's no trouble left. A little chip seven. Basically, same shot as the first, really. That's a nice golf shot. That's a very nice golf shot. Well played, sir. Cheers. I enjoyed that. Thank you. That was a good strike. Yeah. Shot that. Flighted. No spin. Lovely. Right, I have a little bit of a predicament as where I'm fine and I'm dry, but I am on this upslope, so mine's going to go up very quickly. So I think I'll hit a seven, but I'll just have to try and... I can give it probably a bit more than Pete gave it, because, like I say, up is going to be its main flight here. Please go have on. the legs. Go, that go, is go, all go, over go, it. go, 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 go! Great shot. In. Great shot. Uh, is that in the hole? Get back in your box a little bit. Like, you really one good iron shot, all right? From my angle, that literally hit the stick. No, it's just a bit left. I think it's... Just a bit left, one golf ball left. I think it's one inch away. I don't think it's one of those that, like, it looks closer for me. I think that is good. Not in the hole, Pete. It's not good enough. I'm not going to qualify for the open like that, am I? QFTO. 
QFTO. Where is the Open next year? Uh, Troon. Oh, Troon. So Kilmarnock Brassy being one. Oh no, it'll be your place, won't it? Dundonald will yeah, be Dundonald, yeah. Yeah. He's notoriously good round there. <laughs> I don't think I've ever broken par. No. No, I think I shot two under. Two under is my best score around there. Was that when we played as a uh, foursome? <laughs> so it's basically, best score around there is two under. I think to get through open qualifier, you've got to probably shoot like eight under. Well, Marco shot rounds. the course record to get in there. Did he? Yeah, shot like eight under. It's ridiculous, isn't it? So good. Okay, I'm excited for that. QFTO. Go team. Now, you almost hit that to the International Space Station. If that didn't stop quickly, I'd be worried. You went into a 50 mile an hour wind. Exactly, spin control to make sure it didn't go up too much and spin back. These are the things you're going to have to learn if you want to qualify for the Open. Mate, if I want to qualify for the Open, I'm going to have to learn a little bit more than that. Oh, how to play golf. Would you like me to become one of your, your coaching staff? I, I don't I know could, if I we could help you with putting. I'm not sure I coach him. <laughs> it could be my physio if you want. <laughs> I think Fryer would make a really good caddy. I think he'd be I'd a really good caddy. caddy actually. What a view that. Oh, look, you can see Edinburgh now, a lot clearer. Yeah, it's popped out now, isn't it? The castle there in the old distance. I love Edinburgh. Just some, like, this will be, for me, living in Edinburgh, yeah. being able to come down here, or being able to go around there. Yeah, you, you've made life. Just be heaven, wouldn't it? You've made it. You've won. You People of Edinburgh. Edinburgh, you have won. Yeah. The Royal Oak is my recommendation for a pub to go. Like it there. Just music all the time. Bit of a rough and ready crowd. Great. No food. Proper pub. Right. Right. A little bit. Looks like it's going to go right to left just at the end, but I think this wind's going to hold it. No. Get him. Ah, I knew it was going to go that way, but I thought the wind was going to hold it a touch more than that. You want to finish off? Why not? Eh? Well done, sir. Cheers. It's kind of one of those things where actually a par on that hole today is not too bad, but yeah, it's not the point of this challenge. Pars don't cut it. <gasps> oh, it just moved a tiny bit left at the end. That was literally the last 12 inches, that wasn't it? Yeah, just I moved. thought that was good, especially at that pace. Oof. Oh, that is, that's cruel. That's cruel. I thought, you know what? We're getting the job done yeah. when that was going in. However, mate, I have to say, you've not literally missed one of these in four Here days, so. He's just, he's just tainted that. Good call, mate. Very good. Very good. Over those pots, mate, it's so solid. Two fours. So I'm both one under, how many shots is that? We both had 15 shots, Pete. We've got 15 left to go. And we now have another five holes to play. Now, by my calculations, that would mean that we have to make three on the next five holes do you think the job can get done I have mean, you have you changed what was your what was your eight eight i think i think the way we're hitting it i think that's maybe still reasonable but yeah we need a birdie obviously there's a par three isn't there it's a par three par five finish or five three five so, three i think it is you'd obviously hope for the three yeah but it does mean we'd need a we need to bird, on the par we five. need to birdie an eagle in right with a par so I don't know, yeah, it's going to be tough. It's possible. This one will be a little bit gettable because it's downwind as well, and it's about 380. The most so. important thing, though, I've got to be honest, Matt, is despite it being freezing and it being November, I'm really enjoying this course. I'm really yeah, enjoying this video. Just enjoy I'm, I've uh, not spent much time on this East Coast. I've always gone St Andrew's Way, mm. and I've done more up here this year on this side. I must say, bloody fantastic isn't it it's, it's one of those like st andrews is always going to get the pull because it's st andrews but yeah it's the same around uh dundonald press yeah i don't There's think like you can these play little a, yeah you can't play a bad golf course up here <laughs> it's uh, well worth a trip these little places like this as well they're not wildly expensive green fees so yeah. you don't have to play those big bag tagged courses you yeah, can come and play little ones and still have a great time. Because they're available if you want, but like, yeah. you can have such an amazing time around any of these courses. I'm looking over to Gullen over there as I well. I know, yeah, you can see the whole of Gullen. Because you've got all that, you see, to the left of Gullen there, where that kind of beach sweeps around. All that, there's no golf course there. No. Fryer and Finch design coming, 2022. That's where, that is where Dino Golf is going to be, <laughs> 2025. Dinosaur Beach. Dinosaur Beach. The T-Rex's bike back. Right, Pete, we've got a couple of uh, little hazards 
Uh, we have got driver out and the hole is 381 yards. There's a, water, a little bit of water that's at 240. The green side bunkers start at 330, which is that one on the right that we can see. It's gonna be a good heave if we can get one turning a little bit right to left on the wind. I think we might, might have like a 20 yard pitch. Yeah, you just want that scoot off a down slope somewhere, don't you? Yeah. Well, good luck, Matt. Play well, go strong. Just gonna be right of the trap. Just gonna be right of it. Yeah, it's okay. I've seen it bounce. That's pretty much pin eye, it looked like then. <laughs> they carried a long way, just got a bit ahead of it. That was rather large. It's probably, looking where that pin is, it might not be a terrible line in, but. No, you've got a pretty, pretty good pitch. But I think if you get it going on this fairway, you can get it scooted. Yeah. Come on, Fryer, let's load this bad boy up. Right, come on, Matty. Oh, we'll go Come on, chat. wind. Don't go in Ooh, that trap. Don't go in the bunker. Stay right of it. Stay right Stay. of it. Just Stay. below the right of it. Yeah, literally just on the right. That That's is perfect. Right. Little pitch across. <sighs> Pete, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. 30 shots. Could be broken. I'm, I'm feeling one of us has to. One of us will get a birdie on this, I think. You may have seen now, Pete, the, the person who broke the 30 shot challenge. How do you feel about it? This is going out after. Well, so you, can, you can tell me now. No. No, I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> filthy, filthy man. <laughs> um, anyone, was it like a proper course as well? well it wasn't you can, you, you, you it can wasn't tell me that. I know golf. <laughs> no, I mean, like, if it's a Leeds Golf Club, for example, which is like a. It was, it was a golf course out. with 18 holes on it. They weren't all par threes. Okay. And it was a, a tough test of golf. Why are you so cagey about telling me the course? Because you'll figure it out. How am I going to figure it out? Because there's only one person that is allowed to play that. It's a privately owned golf mecca. He chats some rubbish, you do. Well, I, I think it's great. Yeah, well done, that person. <laughs> Congratulations. They will be thankful. Yeah. Wow. You smashed it. Well done. Incredible. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't see it coming. To be fair though, you could join them today. Just need to birdie in now. If you tell me who it is, I'll try hard. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to try medium. Otherwise, I'm going to turn around and hit the ball back this way. <laughs> Look at that for a view. You just keep getting to track, like you turn around and go, oh, oh there it is again. Yeah, kind of forget where you are. But... We've struck gold as well with the weather. Mm. Tomorrow, nice weather. I mean, at the moment. <laughs> hey. We've only got three holes to go. Sorry. Right, I've either done the right hole or the wrong hole for the next, because I went up right, so we'll see. Uh, the line that we thought we had, Pete. Yeah, we were completely We may wrong. have been a little bit <laughs> early on that. If the, ball, if the pin was back left, I, I'd agree. Yeah, it's not ideal. That was the place to miss. Yeah, should have hit it left. Ah, darn it. Can we have the hole cut back left now? Should we just get one of the... Uh, the green keeps over, do as, a, do as a solid, mate. I've just got to get lucky. Softly, softly. Uh, hey, that stopped relatively quickly. That's made me... It was... It's fine. It's fine. Out of position. Change my mind on my shot. Green and reg. It's a holdable putt. That's what that is. If you hit every green and reg, do you get like a shot knocked off? Yeah, you get one bonus sausage. You should do that, you know. Not tell you how to you know, suck eggs or anything, but... I need to land this literally one inch before the green. Not that's there. It, that's it. Not ten feet onto the green. Yeah, there seems to be quite a discrepancy between what you wanted to do and what happened. Yeah, just a heavy hand. The November chill just got me there. <laughs> Did it leaden handed though? But it was a weird one because I was going to play 50 at one point and land it into this sort it, of flat line. Just it's new turf though, isn't it? Yeah, so I was like, will it bounce or will it not? And if I don't, if I get a little heavy handed with it, I'm definitely going over the green. Yeah. And then when I saw yours stop pretty quick, I went to 60. I mean, I, I, I think it here. I pitched it. here. So yeah. It's just like upslope, isn't it? I pitched somewhere near Pete's ball. How do you want it, mate? I will have it out, please. Don't want anything stopping the charge. Little left to right in this, about half a foot. Up the hill, into the wind. It's a very holdable putt. That's in. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, it How's that not moved? Stop moving. But as soon as that was like halfway, I was like, that's in, it's done. Uh... The wind just buffered it. 
Really buffered it. Another good putt there. Gave it the old Warren Buffett. It's a four. It's not needed. It's not needed. I'm now gonna have to make a double eagle. <laughs> I have to birdie the last now. A double eagle. Yeah, you gotta birdie the last, yeah. Get there, Pete. Good news is your ball's still moving, but it's actually moving it's away moving from away. the hole <laughs> because of the wind. Uh, That's two you've left right in the jaw. Yeah. Seems to be a trend of yours this week. May I suggest a firmer insert on your putter? Yeah, take that silk out of it. Or maybe add a little bit more weight to it. You know what? I must admit, I'm... that's a pretty good putt. I... I got the line, bang on. I think at the Just pace. Just did it. Right at the pace. Anyway, 19 shots for us both now, leaves us 11. Four holes to go. We need something magical to something happen. Something special needs to happen. Something what? special. What do we need to go? Birdie, eagle, birdie, birdie. Yes. One. Yes, we do. So our sixth hole now is the 15th, which is a par four up the hill, 336. Again, bunkers out there, just at the left that you see off the tee. Mm. But um, the main worry is the ones that are getting greenside, which start at 200. And 67. Then we've got 273, 276, 285, 286. So it's a green light to knock it on the green with this wind, but the main objective is to try and avoid all the traps that are surrounding yeah. it. My main objective is to hold this now. So right. old shout, the hole has come out. Right. I think it's those tall trees in the distance. And then just let it drift. Just off let it me. just let it Fall. drop on gently onto the hole. Ooh, hold on, hold Damn. on, hold on. It's missed the traps. Just past that gorse, I think. Yeah, it's down that little hollow there. Like, it's not what we needed, though. <sighs> just trusted, should have trusted the wind to do the work for me, but... My newfound feeling with the right to left wind, I can just let it just hit that little soft draw. It's really annoying, it's such an inviting shot, this as well. Yeah, it's lovely, I do love this one. Just hit it straight through the wind, yeah, it's just a really <laughs> up the right. I just nutted that. I mean, it's kicked left and it's towards the green side trap now. That was uh, a button that. That's just a really good strike. Yeah, yeah, it's just literally gone straight through it. You needed like about- You needed that bit. toe rasper again. Yeah, if you had a bit of my toe strike that, yeah. and I had a bit of your straightness, I would have been <laughs> all over it. Somebody say short-sided. Uh, I'm on the T of the next hole. <laughs> pitching back up the hill into wind, which is good, uh, but at the same time, the pin is really tight. Um, this is gonna have to be very precise. I'm gonna be quite aggressive. The wind's gonna stop it quick, so. that really badly. <laughs> oh, that was... I don't know what to say. I'm so disappointed in myself. Joe, I'm sorry. I, you had to walk down this hill and see that. I was like, you didn't deserve that. I reckon I'm going to horrendous line this bunker now as well. <sighs> right, got to regroup. Try and hold this. If not, we're going to have to albatross the par five. Holding one, the par three. Eagle the next. Not bad. Overall, very disappointing to be having a put for a par on such a short, gettable par four. I'll reflect, I'll come back stronger. Right, we've gone beyond the green with mine. Could have done with that a little bit more turn, but I probably would have gone off the back and ended up where Pete was. But I've only got the corner of the bunker to contend with. Got a bit of room, so 60, just pop it up on. The only issue is obviously I'm in the rough. Not sat too bad, it's whether this club just gets snarled. So I'm going to open the face so I can give it a bit more oomph. See if we can get an up and down here. No! <sighs> just lack of speed through there, caught out the roof. Oh, Pete, what have we done? We are making this hole look way more difficult than it should be. We had a little drive onto the green and we're both scuppering around. If that had about three more yards on it, that probably would have been pretty close, annoyingly. Sit. 
Sit. Sit. Is it off the green? Sit. Sit. Right, and next shot, I reckon you'll get it on the green. Is it what's happened? Yeah, it's just dribbled off. You're probably still putting, but it's give it another ideal. bit of dry weather. That'd have been in the other bunker. I actually thought I'd played a pretty good shot then when I saw that go out. I don't think fives help our campaign. Uh, no, no, it's not. It, it will be a, a real blow. I mean, it would then have to be a eagle, albatross, birdie combination, I believe. A real blow, considering we could have thrown those golf balls onto the green with our hands tied behind our backs. I was two weeks of practice away from hitting a good shot there on mine, to be honest with you. Right, come on, pray for a miracle. Turn in. Go! Uh, uh. Oh, Every Matthew. Every damn time. Matthew. Five, six shots left, three holes to go. Oh, the maths is tricky there. Two a hole. How have we both capitulated exactly at the same point I mean, as on well? This, on this hole as well. I know. This is like... The easy one. But... This is stroke 18, by the way. Yeah, and, and you can see why, but we've never played this before. I mean... Yeah, I would have hit three wooden. Oh, 100%. And putted wooden. it on. Right, Stupid on. ego. <laughs> there Damn it ego! There it is again. <laughs> Big right to left break on this now. Hold up. Would you believe it, folks? Pete Finch hasn't hit a putt hard enough again. Go past the hole, didn't he? On the chosen... Well, he's always going to get past the hole on that <laughs> one. It's falling. What do you need from me? It missed low, Pete. Oh. I've not seen you miss high once this week. Well done, Pete. Well, you also have two shots per hole over the next three. So now it's kind of just a thing of who's going to get the furthest. Who's going to get the furthest? I right. categorically hate you at this moment in time and will sabotage you by any means necessary <laughs> just to make sure i get a little bit further on in the challenge and we've got a nice long par four a par three to be fair to be fair pete your uh, predictions looking very solid yeah i mean well even we might not even finish eight because we need to finish birdie par or par birdie although yeah, to get, oh yeah get par three we next need, we need a birdie which they feel quite hard to come by, to be honest. We need birdie, hole in one, eagle. Okay. Oh, oh no, that would that would be one shot too many. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So we if we finish birdie, hole in one, eagle, that's still not enough. It's still not enough. Jeez. What kind of challenge is this? What kind of sadistic man are you? They're in the middle of like a bunker restoration program here at the minute. Once they do that, and if the rough got up here and you came here in the summer and it was burnt out, what a golf course. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely 100% coming back here to play in summer. Oh, this whole area? I'm, yeah. They I'm, do everything. I'm going to get a camper van. My missus is going to forcefully leave a job. <laughs> she can drive me around whilst I play golf. <laughs> what a lucky lady. What a yeah, lucky what a girl lucky she is. Girl. My son's going to be homeschooled. <laughs> on the links. Right, we've got 425 yards. I'm going to aim at the church in the background. Draw it off that. You put the tee back in the bin there. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't draw enough. No, I'll tell you what, that, that's one of those that I caught it like just, you know, that bit on the face where it's just a tiny bit high. Yeah. A tiny bit from the toe. And it comes off with like a thousand revs of spin. If that's missed any bunkers, that's massive. Four, two, five, right. Down, at least it's downwind here, because we need to hold the second. Oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> Jolly good. Tell you her. Yeah, nice swing. That, that is huge. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Nice. I've got a chip. There's hope, everyone. The dream's still alive. Isn't it just not? November, just see so much bounce. Do you know what it's all like straight? I don't know whether it's because we're lower than the last green. It feels a bit warm now. Uh, that's hypothermia. Ah, right, yeah. yes. Just before you pass into the abyss, you get a lovely warm, glowing feeling. Yeah. It's the body slowly shutting down your vital organs. That's how I feel. <laughs> Hear about that new casco! 100 yards in front of you. The man is insufferable. 160 yards, and that pin is in a very smelly location for me. Just over the bunker, I've got to land this, like, on a patch of grass. 
about a foot wide, just over that bunker on the right of the pin and just hope it stops. I've got a wedge. All right, let's go send up a prayer. Look at me celebrating. I just, a full Kevin Keegan moment. I just love it if this went in. Just a massive yeah, break of Whatever soul. Pete said Great to watch. pure rubbish. All right. Left. Ah, oh, we are slowly capitulating. Glad you could join us. How was your mission from the other county? Yeah, it was nice. How, how far did you have in there? About 160. <laughs> Got 70. Wild, man. The uh, bunker guarding the front of the green, which isn't helpful for anyone. This is this is really. This is the one. worst pin the, um, <laughs> that we could have had here. I've now got a 60 degree down the wind. It's okay though, I can play it. Yeah? Yeah, I just need to hold this and I'm great, I'm golden. Or just pull it left. I was so scared of going in that bunker of air mailed the green. Awesome. See, all the problems being such a big hitter, you've got no control around the greens. I was actually too close to that green. Do you know what I would have maybe have been better off doing? A, being better with a wedge. Or B, playing an A-time chip and run to the heart of the should, green. And, you should just lay back like me. <laughs> and holding it. Yeah, right. That was shocking. I was so scared of dunking it in that bunker because it looks treacherous. Yeah, there. but there's nothing to be scared about. Like, you had to hold it. Yeah. I tried. Struck it well. Just closed the face slightly. Hey, you struck it well. I'll give you that. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a flyer from that perfect line. <laughs> that nice, crisp fairway. I like how all this grass, like this is one of the bunkers that they've done here. Look at the right side of this bunker. That looks like growing that grass. Yeah, look at that. That looks brilliant. Well, they had that on uh, that par three. Do you went in the bunker on Renaissance? Oh, yeah, Renaissance have got that. It looks really good. Yeah. Very I don't know cool. if that would be harder to maintain. It'd be hard to cut it, wouldn't it? Chip in. Come on. You can, I can tell that I'm not doing a short game practice for quite some time. Get that bounce working. Just on to the green, right to left. Get in, get in. Great shot. Pretty good. Feels good not to fat chip. <laughs> Just want to thank Matt for having me out. I want to thank my family for raising me such a well. Such a, such well. Should have sent me to a better school. The impending doom is setting in in my mind now. I had two, I had six. So if I make par here, I've got to go hole in one, hole in one. All I really want to do is just beat Pete now. That's my main, my main focus. Get there. Nice and aggressive that, wasn't it? <sighs> Let's hope this putter's working. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm gonna be be beaten, my feet are pinned. I just so <laughs> underestimate. I've not chipped in wind before like this. Makes a bit of a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, like I hit that really well. Landed it where I actually wanted to, but forgot to equate for the 40 mile an hour. Just, just get us out of the way, mate. Yeah, yeah, you go for it. Well done, two left for you, sir. Is that all I've got left, two shots? Two shots. <laughs> Is it the par three or the par five? Par three. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't get over it. Brilliant. Oh, Fry, so you, you really need this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've got the read though, I've got the read. How did you get beaten by me? I'm rubbish. You're qualifying for the Open, so I'm just trying to boost your confidence. <sighs> hit it through the break. See, that's the problem when you hit it too hard. That's why I've been trying to guard against. Well done, well done. So you've got a hole in one. I've got to get a one. But I just need to not lose my tee shot and I will go an extra shot ahead of you. Have a bogey from 70 in. Should have played to the heart of the green, being all professional instead of seeking glory. One of the issues where you, you, talk, you talk way too much smack on it. Yeah, I did. Like, you should have yeah. just... Should have played, gone down there and said, oh. like the golf gods aren't gonna watch and listen to that smack talk and not... And not penalise me. Yeah, yeah. Like, you should think of these things. Fair point, fair point. I can hole in one and you can miss your not get two hey, listen, and I finish the hole. Wild things can happen. Right, Pete, it's the last hurrah. <laughs> How's that? Have a lady, 143, is it today? To the flag? One, four, five. I don't know if it's even more, mate. I don't know if it's a chip five. One, four, three, uphill into wind. The wind's pumping as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Pete has two shots. I have one shot, so I've just got to make sure I get it. I don't think it's five iron for me. I think six for me, five for you is right. Yeah. 
Is you, you can never tell how much it's going to get battered by the wind, yeah, it but it is strong. how high. If we get it above like tree height as well, then you've got some issues. So if you keep it low, the dream could be alive. Hole in one to win. Like that's coming back to us. If you if you run, you could catch that. Yeah. Just got like, so far ahead of it, and need to really open up the body and drill it left there. But I don't see you chipping in from there. So if I hold this, I win. I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> Any par three you get a hole in one, that's like that must be an automatic win, surely. Yes. That's just funny. that is my goal now. Yeah, automatic walk off win. I've completed the challenge because it's a eight hole course. Right. Come on, little trappy draw. Scottish wind shot. Oh, I got the flight, I've just pulled it. Yeah, you got it over, mate. It's a good well, shot. It's a good shot. Well done, Pete. You've conquered me by one shot. Cheers, mate. I appreciate that. Guys, if you have enjoyed the challenge, make sure you're uh, hitting that like button. Comment down who we want next. Go and sub to Pete, Quest for the Open. Give him some love down there, and we'll see you just after Pete hits his chip in the next one. He's got chances. He's got ch oh, he's playing that way. Best chip of the day, though. Well done, sir. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Enjoyed Appreciate that. that. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in another one very soon.